Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, welcome to my little garden tour, I'm going to take you on a nice tour of the garden, it's a little cloudy and ominous out there, so it will be just a quick little tour just to show you what's growing currently and what isn't. <laughs> okay, let's take a look here at our canna lilies, they are so beautiful and so big. They're growing really nice. Here's the ground cover. It's starting to rain a little bit. It'll just be a quick little tour. Yep, a little bit of rain. And then these are the black diamond crepe myrtles. They're growing pretty nicely. They're going to edge like a little pathway. Here's the roses. Oh, I hear thunder. Do you hear that? <laughs> Sounds like thunder. Look at these roses, They're so pretty. The canna lilies, the other set of roses here. No blooms though, I did deadhead some of them. No blooms, and these roses are really tall. And I have to deadhead them, maybe tomorrow. There's the clouds, there's the little seating area in the front. And let's come this way. I won't go exactly down the pathway in case there's any bees. Typically in the afternoon, there isn't a lot of bees. But you never know. There could be. There still could be some bees. It's not so late at night. Usually the bees, for some reason, they hide or they're just not. They're up early, that's why. So then by a certain time of the hour, the bees are not fussing around anymore. But they still may be. Look at these um, roses here. These roses here, look at the pretty, pretty color. And we've got these red ones. Look at this. OMG. So beautiful. And this one here. I love this color. And this color, they're three different colors. They're reddish, reddish pink, but this one's a deep red. This one's a more pinkish, and this one's pinkish red. So I just love these combination of colors. The other one I showed you that was blooming is, I think, red. And then I have a white one. The crepes. And... Bougainvillea. It needs a trimming. This Bougainvillea definitely needs a trimming. Hmm. We'll have to go and do that. The cactus. Cactus is going to need a trimming, but that's going to be when the weather is cooler. It's way too hot for that. I'm not going to do that. And there's the little pathway there. That looks nice. Some of these trees are really growing nicely. Let's swoop around again. And take a look here. There's the pretty canna lily. The garden looks really pretty. This is Honestly, the best time of year for the garden, July and August. September, it's like really hot and everything's like drying out and not blooming as nice, but you have to enjoy it now. There in the background. And there. I don't know if you can hear the little light drops of rain, but it's starting. I wonder if it's going to start downpouring. I think it might start downpouring any minute. So we'll have to put an end to the video in just a few minutes. Give you a quick look. Oh, let's go and see the white roses really quick. We're going to go in here. <laughs> I got a big raindrop on my forehead. And there's the white roses. They're not as tall as the other ones, but these white roses spread out pretty good. And there's the other the pinkish. This would be more like a pinkish rose, wouldn't it? It's so pretty, OMG. <laughs> All right, let's go back in the pathway here. Love the crepes. Okay, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in the garden. Can you hear the rain now? So really quick, let's all my glasses down too. Okay, a quick look and then we have to be off. <laughs> okay, everyone, so the garden tree was cut a tiny bit short just due to the rain, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. If you like garden, anything with home and garden and halls, just press subscribe. 
and I really appreciate having you as a subscriber. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye.